Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Luke Smith. And we are continuing our playthrough of Cry <laughs> Or just cry, if you're <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> Luke has got a massive lead on me. I even recorded a 1.5 episode, which if you didn't see, I'll put a link to in the description of this video, where I came and I corrected a couple of mistakes left over from the previous episode. Remember those ones we talked about? Yeah. For example, you ended up retreating the trogs when I was controlling the trogs, I should have decided where they went. So I ended up moving them into the center space here. And I also talked about some strategy tips that I was thinking about. And you might wonder, Rodney, you're trying awful hard against a poor young boy here. Don't, don't have any sympathy for this guy. <laughs> don't, don't believe that face. That face is a lie. This guy is ruthless. Uh, people sometimes ask me, Luke, um, you know, growing up, how did I play games with you? Did I let you win games when you were younger? No. <laughs> I still enjoyed it. <laughs> well, that's just it. Uh, I didn't let Luke win games against me, but I also played games with Luke that at a young age, he would always have a chance of winning. So if there was a, if there was like a dice or a random element, no matter how well like, I played, yeah. there was a chance you could win, right? So you would win some and lose some and that's so on. That's how I was lucky, Luke. Right? Last with the dice. <laughs> I tell you though, with the dice, he was very frequently a winner. As some of you might have seen in, in previous episodes. So uh, I don't take uh, I don't take any reservations in uh, playing hard against Luke, especially with the win streak he's had against me in this game. And that might continue here in this game. I don't know, but I did get a couple of great suggestions that actually got uh, equal votes from the viewers. Oh, really? So yeah. I'm going to combine both those suggestions, and they came from Tyler Smith and Mark Wiegand. So let's go to the table and see what they want me to do. Well, Mark wants me to reposition some of my figures already on the board. So he's telling me I should use the regroup and... You play holos! <laughs> they're not called hobos, they're holos. Oh wow, so this whatever. Is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna give me three movement. And I'm gonna use two of that to move these figures into here, helping to firm up my control of the swamps. And then I'm also gonna move a figure up into this region the peaks. That's going to start a battle in this region, so I'll put a token here. By doing this, what we're trying to prevent is Luke from being able to come into these regions. This location now can remain empty because there's no way for him to get here, at least not this round. For my action, I'm going to be recruiting, using these two cards, drop troopers. Now, we saw this one before. You're dropping some troopers in. This will allow you to put four new recruits on the board into your yes. headquarters. Okay, something for me to be worried about, I'd say. For my next action, I'm gonna play this regroup card, which gives me three of the construction points. What you gonna build, Dan? Well, I'm so glad you asked. It's right here. I'm gonna build one of these power Whoa. orbs for two. I'm gonna place it here on the banks, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna activate it. This allows me to add one of my pilgrims from my reserves into a region where I have a pilgrim that's in a battle. Well, get afraid, everyone. Luke has brought out his artillery battery. I'm assuming you wanna build one. Yes, I'm going to play my card, Air Support. Okay, this will provide you with three points for building. I'm going to place the battery here. And what this allows Luke to do, when he activates it, and I'm assuming you're activating it? Yes. He can now place an artillery battery token in this space or an adjacent one. Then during the next battle region, in whatever region he places into... Well, I'm going to put it here. <laughs> okay, so if a battle happens here, and I suspect one's going to now, this will count as two recruits that are placed on the attrition objective, which could be devastating. Then again, if you've been hoping for Luke to win, you're pretty happy right now. Yay! Well, I think I've got lots to worry about, actually. Uh, uh yes, what? <laughs> yes. Well, one thing in particular, though, this region right here, with all my precious crystals, now it looks like Luke's going to attack here, and um, he certainly has lots of guys to do uh, it with. No, I just wanted to give you defense. <laughs> no, yeah! No, 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 you're using that against me. I know it. What? I think what I need to do, and this is part of the suggestion that was given to me, was go get another card for my hand, something that I could use potentially in a battle. If he does go here, there's going to be two battles, but I'm most worried about this one. So I'm going to take a card from a pile of one of these two symbols, and I'll go here. I draw two, and I pick one to keep. And the one that I'm going to keep, I'll just look at these quickly. Okay, I'm going to take this one here, which I'll add to my hand, and the other I will shuffle back into this deck. Now, that would normally be the end of my turn, but I have another action that I want to take. Oh, I should also point out, before I do that, you haven't seen it on screen, but we've been keeping track of the action rounds, and now this is my actual third action that I'm taking, or rather that I've just taken, but I also want to use a skill. I have one here called Power Extraction, so I'm going to rotate this one to use it, and it also requires me to spend a crystal from my crystal pool. This allows me to place the Power Extraction token into a region. I'm going to put it here. I can then assign this token during a battle to any one of the battle objectives, and it counts as two of my own forces there. Oh. Hopefully that's enough to encourage Luke to maybe stay out of this region, or if he does come in here, give him a run for his money. It does look tempting to not go into there. Is it a little discouraging? 
team, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. But that ends my turn, and now we'll see what Luke's gonna do. So for my action, I'm gonna be playing Air Cavalry yes. and Recon Team using movement. Luke, you can still walk away. You don't have to start a battle. Well, Dad, let me think about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fight is coming into the Mataka Swamp. So a battle has been started here. And I get to change initiative. Right, because of the exclamation mark effect here. Luke, that is terrifying. Mm, there's more. Uh, of course there is. What do you got? Okay, I've got my skill Recon Forces. What does this it, let you do? It lets me draw a card for each battle that I'm the attackers. Okay, so you have one that's happening here. Yep. Luke wants a mountain card. I've taken it from the top and I'm passing it to him now. Anything else you want to do, Luke? No. Thank goodness. Well, now it's time to battle. Okay, it's time for the battles to begin. And we're gonna start here on battle token one. So I'll add a crystal to this region. Now I have to deploy my forces. Luke, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm worried about the cards you have in your hand. You should be. Okay, thank you, good to know. I believe right now I have majority, but that could definitely change. And I do want, I would like to keep majority. Not happening. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay, thanks for the heads up. I mean, there's a part of me that thinks maybe taking prisoners right now would be better. Deplete Luke's forces, force him to spend victory points to get his figures back. But <laughs> I'm gonna go on majority and turn it over to Luke. I'm going on majority. Okay, so Luke is trying to fight for control here as well. And I think the only reason to go on majority when I clearly have the majority is he has some way of bringing more troops into this battle. Because if we're tied, I lose majority. The catch is I'd like to wait and see what he's gonna play, but I can't because of the attacker, I have to play my cards first. And if I don't, I can't play any more cards after that. You know what? No, I'm not gonna use any cards. Luke, over to you. Well, I'm gonna play some cards. <laughs> Cards or just one? Just one. Okay, good. For now. For now, all right. I'm gonna play the card Air Support. What that lets me do is take one recruit from my reserve and put it into the battle objective. <laughs> and I think you've chosen the right battle objective. This will tie us yes. up here, meaning you keep control. And because I already passed on playing cards, I can't play any anymore. Do you have any that you wanna play? No, I'm fine. You're fine, of course you're fine. You know, if I'd put my power extractor into this region, I could have won it for sure. Maybe I should have done that. If I don't win in this region, I am gonna be kicking myself. But let's wrap up the travesty we're currently in. Luke, you did gain majority here. Yes. As a defender, you win on ties, so we'll put a control token there. Your guys will go back into that region and might have to retreat. I can't retreat into this region because it's a battle one, so they'll go into here. And this battle token is removed. Now it's time for the second battle. Yes, and so we'll add a crystal into this location. Putting six crystals there, this is a hot spot for sure. And Luke, you have to decide where you wanna go first. Actually, we know for sure this one has to go on to attrition. So we'll put it there. What about your other four units? I'm gonna put three units on attrition and the other one on prisonerfying. <laughs> prisonerfying? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, Deal the, with it. That's the verb of taking a prisoner. Oh, I hope I'm not prisonified. I don't know what to do here. Uh, I see a lot of my units dying in this battle. But again, I'm not sure exactly what Luke has in hand. I think I'll place my power extraction up here on majority. I'm gonna place one of my units here on prisoner to stop him from taking one of my prisoners and the other two I'm gonna place here on attrition. Even if Luke has some cards to move things around here, hopefully that will keep me in position to still take majority. And I have a few tricks up my sleeve as well. Luke, you get first chance to play a card. Do you plan to? Told you I was gonna prisonerify. <laughs> okay, what do you so got? This lets me take one of my units from the reserve yes, and put it onto yes, any battle yes. objective. Okay, so you want majority there to take a prisoner. It's over to me, I can play a card if I want to. It looks like Luke's not trying for majority. He will get a lot of points out of this attrition though, but prisoners give you points over time. I know he has one card left. I don't really want to play another one, but I want to be able to play more if he does do something dastardly. So I'm just going to use this one to move one from attrition up into prisoner to stop the prisoner from happening. But again, primarily, I just want to be able to play another card in case Luke does something dastardly with his last remaining one. Luke, are you planning to play a card? No, sir. Okay, so I didn't necessarily need to play that last card. It's okay though, it will stop prisoners and I could play more if I wanted to. You know what, I think I will. I'm gonna play Distraction. That allows me to choose one of my opponent's units and then they have to move it to a different objective. Luke, I think I'd like you to move one of these two. Well, I'm gonna put it on attrition, I guess. <laughs> okay, going to majority wouldn't help you win it. And thankfully, you already had enough units to wipe everyone I have out anyway, so I'm not really giving you additional points. That said, I am gonna get to prisonerify this round. Hey, that's my turn. <laughs> well, I'm taking your term over. The first thing we'll resolve is the majority, which I clearly have, and that will give me two points. Wait, shouldn't I have gotten two points here when I won? Uh, 
Yes, you're right, Luke. And I get double because I have two control. <laughs> oh my goodness. I even put an extra one in here. I shouldn't have done Okay. People were probably yelling at their screens when I did that. I'm sorry, everyone. We'll give Luke his two points. And now we'll move on to prisoners. And I get to take a prisoner. So I'll grab one of these. Then we move on to attrition. These will happen simultaneously. I get to kill one of the figures. I'll remove this one, which will give me one point. And Luke, you get to kill one, two, three, four, five which is exactly how many I have here. So Luke will get five points pushing him to 28. Luke, you're gonna have a few units to retreat. First of all, this token will go back in here. And where do you want these other three to retreat? I want them to go over to here. Okay, into the peaks. Yep. We'll put them there. We'll remove the battle token. And although I have no one here because I want control, I will retain control. That will end our battles. Well, now it's time to move on to the phase of scoring prisoners, and I do have one, so I'll gain a point for that. Luke, you don't have any prisoners, right? Nope. And final scoring was not enabled, so we skipped that as well. Well, now it's time to start a new round. We'll move this token up, and counting down along this track, the next event we come to is right here. So let's flip it over and see what it says. Well, this says every player can take one unit in their reserve and place it on a region they control. I'm gonna place my unit into this area. Now, I could have potentially put one here, but I think I wanna leave that open. So that next round, if Luke does come into here, he won't be able to start a battle, which means I can then move in there after the fact to initiate the battle myself. Luke, where do you wanna go? I'm gonna place my extra unit right over here. Now we can update initiative, and Luke is gonna go into first place. We also each refresh our skills, which we'll do off screen. You know what, Luke? Between edits, I just asked the publisher a question. Yes? Yeah, I was curious about something I wasn't sure of. These battery tokens, if you use them in a battle, they actually go away. Oh. So then if you want to place a new one, you can. You'll just have to activate this building. That makes sense. Next thing we do is draw four cards. All right. That is actually going to deplete me perfectly. My deck is eh. empty. Not for me. You still have a few left in there? Yep. Well, we're gonna end the game here. I'm gonna show you everything in my hand, show you the board again, help me to decide what to do next, because you guys did a great job. I feel like that could have gone much worse. Yep. <laughs> Luke does have a lot of units on the board, and I do not. And Luke will be going first. You'll have the first opportunity to potentially move in on places, yep. or enable <laughs> scoring, or whatever other things you might wanna get up to. So in the comments below, let me know what you think I should do. If you like what someone says, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like it, propose your own suggestion. Maybe that will get the most votes, but whichever one does, that's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.